Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector, and today I wanted to make a bit of a different video. As you probably know, if you've been around, I am a mathematician, I like to take a look at data, I build myself some uh, algorithms, I basically like to, to talk facts. But um, I want to make more of a chill video today, so kind of, unfortunately we can't have a discussion, I would love to. That's why I would also like to do uh, live sessions where we talk about the market, look at the market, discuss about the market, but uh, as much as I can do that. What I will try to do is I'll talk on uh, the next best thing. I do get sometimes the question um, I see in, in my Discord, I see in other people's Discord, I see in, in uh, many larger PogiTubers on the comment section, what's next best thing. And I basically want to touch it on, I will try to provide as much value as I can with my, let's say, let's call it a little knowledge about microeconomics that I started at university. It was a, a short course, uh, one semester at the econ department. Good times and uh, it did help a little, but um, nonetheless, I just, uh, again, I would like to have a discussion. So the comments will be more than welcome. And as you can see, we also try to take a look at a few Pokemon products and you'll see in, in a moment why. I first need to basically talk you through it, talk you into it and uh, see wh where my point is. So the next best thing is, you know, I hear, as I said, I hear it, I see it a lot. And uh, what I think, and I don't think this is just really, I mean, my th thought is, my opinion is, if you're looking, if you're chasing for the next best thing and you don't see it, it just simply means you don't see it. So when you want to buy something, um, and, and this doesn't apply to, to, to Pokemon, it, it applies to uh, a, any market, Obviously, the, the most notorious one would be the stock market. When something is going up, it means that people have already seen the potential. Let's, you know, let's take, as you can see here, uh, the Tina from Lost Origin. You have this price charting. It's uh, actually re recently discovered this uh, website. So in red, you have PSA 10 and in blue, you have the raw copy. As you can see, obviously, as we know, Sword and Shield has skyrocketed ever since March. So in, let's say a PSA 10 went from uh, almost 600 to now almost a thousand dollars. So that's what a 35, 40, 35% move in uh, two months. That's a lot. And uh, if, you know, what basically this, this triggers, and uh, you could argue this all started with uh, Evolving Skies. And uh, basically th this triggered the Sword and Shield, let's, let's call it chain. You know, you had uh, the Tina, the Tempest, sorry, I meant the Lugin of the Tempest, the Charizard from Brilliant Stars, you had the Gengar, obviously, from Fusion Strike, you've had all the Seal products of, of the respective sets that I, I mentioned, so uh, Star Gen, Seal, Tempest, Fusion Strike, you've had, as I said, all these guys, you could argue in some way was a catalyst, um, so you had... Obviously, in all this kind, you had the Moonbrim. You could also argue the Moonbrim was a catalyst. You have the Rayquaza. So it, it kind of started this chain of events. And the way I see it, and pop, I mean, I'm sure many of you, that's why I would like to know in the comments if you agree with me. The fact that, let's say it started with Evolving Skies, you, you, you can make a point, it, it all started with Evolving Skies, and people saw potential. People started to look for the next best thing. What's the next best thing? Then, they look at a Rosogen, they, they look at the Tina with that. Well, well the Tina is, is, a, is a cool looking car. It's a good looking car. They bought the Tina. Well, okay, now people, now the, the, the Tina, the, the Gugina is going up. What's the next thing? Uh, the Lugia. Okay, the Lugia is going up now already. What, where can I put my money? The, the charts are from Billy Stars. Okay, that's going up. Where can I put my money? And I hear it. I've heard this week a lot of uh, um, battle styles. The Tyranitar from Battle Styles and then Astral with the Machamp. So, and now obviously when these are going up, I'm saying, w w what's the next best thing? And to me, the thought goes to Japanese. Japanese has been going down. And uh, why has it been going down? Well, if you're not familiar, money just doesn't come and go. Um, yes, you could argue they print, they don't print it. Uh, it's obviously at, uh, it's all done at interbreakery level with bonds. So they don't actually print the US dollar, the euro, the yen. It's all done at uh, it's, it's a higher level. That's not the, the main point of this video. In the good times also at the microeconomics course back in uni. Again, one semester with the econ department. 
good times. I was young, uh, like uh, two years ago. Um, so actually, um, you know, money doesn't come and go. If it goes out to somewhere, to move into some some somewhere else. So you can argue, and it's possibly true, it went out of Japanese. Um, where's Japanese again? It went out of Japanese. You know, one fifty one now fifty three dollars. Uh, v Star units at forty seven when it was like hundred, and obviously we know what happened with one fifty one. So it's going out somewhere and into someone else. Now it's also possible. I don't know. It's going out of crypto. It's going out of different uh, assets, and it's going into Sol and Shield. That's also possible. But money doesn't disappear. It moves. So if you're looking for the next best thing, I wouldn't look for what's going up. I would look for what's going down. Now, the catch is when you look for what's going down, the problem is that it can keep on going down. So you can either, and I, this is all about risk aversion, in my opinion. It's all about how you tolerate risk. If something's going up, it can go up, just like it could go back down. If something is going down, it could keep going high, down, or lower, or it could turn higher. Now, it's if you can, in a way, and you can try to do it as much, uh, you know, mathematically so you can try to quantify it as much as possible the risk if you can if you're able to quantify the risk as much as you can with the tools you have available then it's all about risk aversion in my opinion you can try to look for the next best thing even though you think it's the next best thing but it's actually it's already gone or you can try to look for the next best thing and what no one else is looking at and a good example, as I also said in my last video, was the Groudon from Paradox. Th that car was $20 and 20 euros in the European market. I bought it um, and I actually have it. Wait a second. I realized in the video that I did say that I bought it, but I actually didn't show it. So obviously you think I didn't. So that's it. That's Groudon's. So I bought it back when it was 20 euros. And why did I buy it? Well, because nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted it, and that was, that's why it was 20 euros. Now, everyone want, wants it, and it's $45 in the US, and uh, it's now a 30 euro card in the EU, and with the bot, the co market bot that I developed, the supply in the European market, and that's a good estimate also for what's going on in, in the US, the supply went from 130 listings, English instinct, near mint, last month, today there were 47. So, a third that's what happened and uh, you know it, it if something is pricey is because people have already seen potential if 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 you treat the Pokemon market as a market that respects uh, the EMH the efficient market hypothesis it means that every imp information every piece of information is already priced in in today's price then there's no place now Luckily, that's not what happens. That's how you can make plays because demand shifts. So as demand shifts, information shifts. And obviously, that's you know why cards go up and down. So all of this to say, if you're looking for the next best thing and what you think is the next best thing is already up, then probably it's not the, it was the next best thing before it went up. Now it's not anymore. Which obviously, as I said, doesn't mean go buy what's cheap. Go buy what's going down, because you know, again, risk aversion. Got to tolerate the risk. It's a, it's a. It would take more than a ten minutes video to explain, to be honest. Uh, but all, all I'm saying is, don't FOMO. Just do your research. Think about it. Hopefully, think about what I said about. Well, I'm buying something that's going up. Will it go higher? And why is it going up? Am I late to the party? That's I think what you should ask yourself. And uh, you should ask, well, is there, is there something that I see value in? I see potential. And maybe not everyone is seeing it because everyone, everyone's attention is focused on something else. So in shield, which again, I'm looking at one, obviously 151 is now on, on the screen. It doesn't mean go buy 151, Japanese 151. I'm not saying that, but I hope you get what I'm saying. If you look where everyone is looking, that price has already priced the fact that everyone is looking at that product. So yes, it can go higher, but it may not go as much higher than something that people are not looking at and they could be looking at in a month, two, three, six, a year. Don't forget to join the Discord guy. Link in the description below. Absolutely free. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe 
and leave a like. It really helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.